Hey everybody, back with another out of the park tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some tips for managing and setting up your pitching staff in out of the park 22. I've started a new sim here with the Dodgers uh, in the 2021 season. And generally the way I play this game is, is I'm the GM, but I still take control of the lineups and pitching staff. So I'm not managing each game, but I do kind of tell my manager how to manage the team a bit day to day with the lineups, much like I think it's done in current MLB with front offices often dictating lineup decisions and, and usage of players more so than the managers used to do those kind of things. So what I'm gonna do here is pull up the Dodgers pitching staff and talk through if I were taking over the Dodgers to start 2021, what I would do with their staff and how I'd set it up. Now, for people who watched my Orioles out of the park 21 sim, you could see over time, I kind of set up my bullpen how I wanted and I had pretty ideal guys in each role. So I will say with this role, with, with this team, it's not set up with exactly ideal guys that I want for each role, but I'm gonna talk through it and put guys into the role that I think they'd best fit. But if you think something seems a little funky, a little clunky, a little weird, uh, it's because, you know, I, I'm just taking over this team and I don't have the perfect guy for that role, but I'm going to show you the closest guy to each role in the in the bullpen, especially that I think that they best would uh, work work in if I were managing this team. So the first thing that I do is, and I mentioned this in some of my Out of the Park 21 videos, is I limit the pitch count to my starters, generally 90 to 100. 100 if they're veterans or if they're stars, they've been around a bit. So Bueller, Bauer, Kershaw, they'll all get 100s. Uh, Urias, a uh, little younger. He does surprisingly have a normal injury grade in this, but I think I'd keep him to 90 for now. Generally 90 to 100 is where I keep it. I do if I have a guy I trust a lot less and say I have a bunch of injuries and somebody in my staff that I don't trust, I'll do 80 or 85. Uh, or if I have a guy I just called up, sometimes I'll do 80 or 85. One is, anecdotally, I do think I have noticed that I think this limits arm injuries. You know, I don't have any data to back that up, but, and it could be other factors that have caused me to think this, like maybe I just had a really good scout or really good luck or things like that. But I think that this may be able to help limit your arm injuries. This is also a good way to have your manager not keep your pitchers in too long. You can manage that under the strategies page with the hook. You know, you can have the manager have a quicker hook or be more patient and leave a guy in longer. I've found, that I prefer the way the computer manager manages uh, pulling guys out of the game better with pitch counts. And yeah, sometimes you'll have a guy get pulled out with a shutout after eight and two thirds, or sometimes you have a guy get pulled out with like a no hitter in the seventh. It happens, but I just prefer, since I'm not micromanaging the day-to-day -day of every decision in the game, I prefer to control things with the pitch count. Uh, in terms of the pitcher usage and when they get pulled. So David Price, I don't think I would put in my rotation here. And the main, I mean, one, I think May and Gonsolin are both better options, but they're also deadly in the bullpen. So not necessarily because I think they can't serve the team well here in the bullpen. They'll be great. But, uh, and Price, they'll be better than Price. But also, I only have two lefties in the bullpen, and I would like to have three lefties. And you can see we have 13 pitchers. I normally do go with 13 pitchers, 13 hitters. So, you know, if you play in the NL regularly, you might you might go 14-12. I've had guys do the – I've had people tell me they do the opposite too, and they, they load up on uh, on pitchers. So I prefer 13 and 13 generally. And with that, obviously, I'll have eight guys in my bullpen. I like three of those to be lefties. So because this is how the team is set up and I'm not making trades right now, I would pull Price out of the bullpen or out of the rotation. I put him in the bullpen. And I think May is the higher end arm here. So, you know, but he does, he only has two above average pitches. You know, it, it's a tough call here, which one I would go with. I mean, they're both really good. They're both really good in the bullpen. So I think you could go either way. I'm going to put May in the in the rotation. Probably a little bit of real-life bias if I think he has the higher ceiling. Of course, he's hurt right now, which is a bummer. And I would put him at 90 pitches. So the next thing that I'm going to recommend you do in the bullpen, and this is one thing that, honestly, I, I learned just last year when I did a video on bullpen, and I said, you know, talked about the roles, how I still use closer, when I, not when I'm managing games, but when I'm, I'm the general manager. 
And because when I'm the manager of the game, I don't really stick to these roles like closer, setup, etc. I I use my best relievers at what I think are the most important times of the game. If that's the seventh inning, that's the seventh inning. And you can do that with some things like high leverage and things like that. But I, I think that the computer manager manages it better with these old school, well, not all old school, but the primary roles rather than high leverage and stuff like that. So I don't use a closer anymore. Thanks to some people who pointed out that they have success with guys in the stopper role more than the closer. But Kenley Jansen, while he is the closer here, and scouting-wise, he's probably the best reliever on this team, he only has a 30 stamina. I like my stopper at the back end of my bullpen to have at least a 40 stamina. You might say, what is a stopper? A stopper is basically a multi-inning closer, in a way. They'll pitch late in games for multi-innings to close out games. They'll come into close games. And Gonsolin... I mean, I would prefer my stopper to have stuff, two of these three pitching ratings, 70 or above. Gonsolin's not perfect, but he's got the stamina. He's got one excellent pitch and three really solid pitches. I would put him in the stopper role, even though he isn't the perfect guy for it. And so the next thing I would do is I would put... So I've got Gonsolin in the stopper role, eighth and close game. I'm not going to worry about a secondary role for now. The next thing I would do is I would move two guys into setup roles. Okay. And I'm going to have Jansen obviously be one of those. And then I like to have a lefty righty in the setup. So while Victor Gonzalez is not my third best reliever or my second best reliever, you know, Trinan is better than him. I like to give my manager a lefty option in the setup role. So I would go Victor Gonzalez too. And I like my setup guys seventh or later, both of them, because my stopper I put in for eighth and close game. So let me just do that so it refreshes. And then what I do is, so Gonsolin will sometimes come in the eighth and he won't have the gas to finish the game if he's not fully rested. So the next guy in the pecking order for saves, I put as my closer. So I would put Kenley Jansen as the closer. And so what's going to happen then when Gonsolin comes in and he runs out of gas with one out in the ninth in a save situation because he's pitched, you know, whatever, three times in five days or something, Jansen's going to come in and get the save when you make that the secondary role. We're going to take Gonzalez out of second long relief. We're not going to do that. So stopper, eighth and close games, two setup guys, seventh or later. And then we go into middle relief. And Blake Trinan, I mean, you know, we're going to sort here by Overall, Trinan has a 60 overall, but he's got the 75 movement, which is awesome. I mean, Trinan should be really good in this game. He's honestly good enough to be one of my setup guys, but I like the left-right thing. So I'm going to do Trinan in middle relief and use more often, and then I'm going to make his secondary role set up so he gets some time there when Gonzalez is tired, when Jansen's tired, or for, for other reasons that my manager decides. So at this point, I... You know, these are my four main guys. After this, I think there's a little bit of the drop, a drop off in their bullpen. The overall rating doesn't totally agree with that. But next, I, you know, I'd have Knabel next in my packing order, I guess. And I do normal usage. You know, I always make my best middle reliever use more often and set up. Not always, but I like to um, as their usage op option in their secondary role. And then I would make price middle relief as well. And I'm not sure, I mean, Price or Alexander, one of them I would set up as a lefty specialist as their secondary role. I'd be fine with that being Alexander. I don't think it really matters because then I can make Price my secondary long reliever. And since he's got more stamina than Alexander by a long shot, that's fine. He can be the long relief backup for Jimmy Nelson. And Nelson will be my long reliever. He'll also, he'll also be my emergency starting pitcher. I could make Price that too, but just for the sake of this exercise, we'll make it Nelson. And I do want to say that I really like this long, let me try that again, long relief role to be a young starter who I'm bringing up who can gain experience at the major league level before I throw him into the rotation. Again, this is another anecdotal thing that I, I don't have like reams of data to back up, but it seems to me that pitchers, when you call them up, starting pitching prospects, if they can gain experience in the bullpen first, they're they're more likely to have success in the rotation. And I don't mean do it for like two seasons, but I don't mind having a guy come up and be my long man for a few months or for a full season if my rotation is stacked. Now, if I need that guy in my rotation, I need him in my rotation, I put him there. 
but ideally young starter in the bullpen, especially in the long relief emergency SP role, uh, is, is a way to get them good experience. So that's kind of the gist of how I would do it. And again, you know, Gonsolin, you know, is not the best <laughs> reliever in the bullpen, but he's got the stamina to do the stopper role. Ideally, your stopper is one, your best reliever, and two, also has stamina. One of those two things is true for Gonsolin. And then I would probably make a trade for a badass lefty reliever if I were the Dodgers in this, because uh, I, I, I don't think Gonzalez is, is a, I mean, he's, he's good. He's good, but he's not elite. So I'd probably be looking for somebody comparable to Jansen in the setup role and get, get a better lefty in there. But you know, I'm always interested to hear how other people manage their staff. So, and and like I said, the stopper role was something something that I never really messed around with that much in out of the park until people told me that they they used it a lot and they liked it and found a lot of success in I think it was out of the park 21. And now I love it and I <laughs> I aim to have a guy in my bullpen who is that one other secondary role that you can use that I like sometimes is high leverage. Uh, I think maybe if, if I got a lefty in here who I thought was elite in my setup role and you know Jansen secondary role would be my closer I think I'd probably put my lefty as high leverage I don't think Gonzalez is good enough that I'm going to make that you know that I would do that with him but ideally one of these guys secondary role could be high leverage come up put in come in and put out a fire in the sixth or seventh inning so anyways that it, that's all for this one uh again let me know what you guys do what you like what you don't like about different bullpen roles. And uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate it.